You come here once and you never want to leave. That's what Goa does to you, me and any of us who sink our feet into its sand. I know I'm taking my win over Varun a bit over the top, but hey, I can't help it. There really is so much in Goa to ride along with. As if there are dearth of options in Mumbai when it comes to a ride. I am pushing all barriers this time of speed, power, performance and much more. These are not cars that I'm talking about. These are mean machines that give you wings to fly. Sometimes I just can't believe my luck. The excitement levels for motorcycle enthusiasts around the world hits a new high with Harley Davidson kicking off their 110th anniversary celebrations right here in Goa. So what does that mean? 500 Harley owners and their bikes right here for me to be right in the middle of. This is, I think, the sweetest fat boy I've ever seen. I just love the color. What a beauty. This I think is the Super Glide. Really cool. Wow. You can just glide and cruise on this on the highways. That I immediately noticed to be the 48 because of the peanut tank and the really funky sparkly paint that it's become famous for. 48. A qualified cruiser from Harley Davidson. The 48 is low slung with a slim front fender neatly bolted onto its fork tubes. You can't miss the fat, robust looking spoked 13090 16 inch front tire on this motorcycle, can you? The five speed gearbox shifts in a one down, four up pattern with a slightly heavy feel to it. Introduced more than four decades ago, the Dyna Super Glide Custom has been a perfect representation of the Harley brand with its classic styling and low seating. The Super Glide Custom sports Harley Davidson's air cooled twin cam 96 engine that displaces 1585cc. The Fat Boy. Now, the Fat Boy is found in plenty in India. Devoid of heavy fairings and saddlebags, the fat boy proves more nimble and responsive than its siblings. This marks a moment in history for me. I'm about to meet Karen Davidson, the great-granddaughter of William Davidson, who is the co-founder of the brand. She is the first Davidson ever to come to India and I'm about to meet her. Karen, such an honor to meet you. Nice to meet you. Namaste. Welcome to India. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How does it feel being here? Oh, it feels wonderful. You are the first Davidson to actually come here. You know, it's, it's like, wow, are we going to go to these far-reaching destinations yeah. such as India, you know, and, and, and watch this brand emerge and interact with these riders. What makes the brand so powerful? Well, I think, you know, what we want for all of us is a sense of personal freedom. And this is the ultimate American freedom machine. And when you grab these handlebars, you twist this throttle, you're free. <laughs> what can we look for next? We're going to have more rallies and more opportunity to ride and maybe even more women on the road. So maybe I'll be back and doing a women's ride. It that would be would fantastic. Be amazing. Yes. It would be an honor to have you back oh in India. The Hog Rally was the first in a series of events to take place in the year 2013 to celebrate the 110th anniversary of the brand. So they decided to globally organize 110 events across the world. Upcoming events will happen in places like New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, Mexico, Brazil and Rome to name just a few.
Now, while Kimmy has been having her fun in Goa, I cannot say that Mumbai was far behind. Its autosphere was buzzing too with a supercar show held every year. It's a unique display of money, power, and success. You remember when you were a kid, your parents must be telling you, "Beta, dream big and you will achieve bigger." Well, countless number of people come to Mumbai every month, every week, every day to become something, to achieve something. And today, I have the good fortune of being amongst hundreds such dreams which have come to life in the form of these gorgeous-looking cars. The Supercar Club was started by prominent industrialist, chairman and managing director of Raymond Group, Mr. Gautam Singhania. Since 2009, it has been the premier club for all those with a need for speed and all things beautiful. This year too, it arrived with great pomp and show at the famous Mahalakshmi Racecourse. Look at this beautiful matte red color, man. I've been just roaming around like a headless chicken from car to car because this is like car heaven. Name it, and it's there. Audis, Mercedes, Aston Martins, Bentleys. Look at that one. Come, let's check that out. So just like our Bollywood celebrities have their bodyguards, even these stars have their bodyguards. Maya, थोड़ी देर के लिए अंदर जाएं? ना. अरे बाबा. थोड़ी देर के लिए? ना ना. बहुत अच्छा है यार. This elite collection of cars belongs to a deserving group of car enthusiasts who are not just there for the show, but are deeply passionate about their cars. This is a Porsche 911 Turbo. Okay. So what are the fun things about the car, like in terms of the interiors? Which interiors look? are basically you have your gauges, you have an RPM meter, you have a clock. It's an automatic with a pedal shift, so you can pedal shift right, from right. first to second. That was fun. That's that's fun. And while the crowd scampered for a better glimpse at these beauties, I decided to get a thorough look at them with Alistair Woodham from Gautam Singhania's team, who had all the keys to my questions. There you go. This is like worth how much right now in my hand? This could be worth close to maybe twenty crores. You keep 20, it, man. <laughs> this is Gautam's car. It's a normal looking Gallardo. Okay. Uh, but under the hood. It's a 1600 brake horsepower. Wow! Which is one of a kind again. One, the one of the most powerful cars in the world. Wow! Okay, that is nice. And the very low, I feel. Yeah, it's very low. It's very I mean, low. Uh, center of gravity, so they stick to the ground. Also, the tires we got semi slicks. I gotta get me one of these soon, man. Here's something about the Singhanias. They are doers. People who have aroused awe by living on the edge. Gautam's latest achievement: he is the first Indian to have won a drifting championship in Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, the complete man himself, Gautam Singhania. Hi, sir, Varun. I'm Hi, nice still to trying to digest that I'm sitting with Gautam Singhania. So, how did this whole thing start? The Supercar Club. Well, it started off with a little bit of an idea. Uh, where you know we used to go out at night every day with our cars, and and we always found people gathering to to have a look at the cars. And then we said, let's try it in a small way at Kalagoda. Mm. We got about 20 cars. And the whole concept is to make it a festival and the tourism calendar for Maharashtra. So you've recently won a drifting championship. Like, congrats on Thank that. You. I'm very new to drifting. Uh, I think the whole country is. So how does it exactly work? They give you a clipping point, and it's the maximum angle that you carry through that corner. Okay. So the more the angle that you carry, the more points you get. That should get maximum points for kissing the wall. So, I actually in the qualifying had a, a 30 meter kiss where I was, where the tail was kissing the wall for 30 meters. This man was all passion as he took the time to show me his cars, and I, for one, was looking forward to a spectacular parade. 